All right. Now, what do we have in the box? This is part two. What is this? Hmm, that looks suspicious. All right. Now, my channel normally is a home improvement how-to channel. Okay. Now, I was tagged by Zebra's Bog, Zebra Bogs. Uh, from Ireland to do this candy taste test where she sent me some candy and I sent her some candy all right and but my channel normally is a home improvement how-to channel where I show you and woodworking where I show you different tips and tricks and how to do everything like from drywall to painting to Tiling, many, many videos on tiling, some custom woodworking projects like a custom stump chair, a stump pedestal lamp with a shelf, um, all very high-end, all custom work, and uh, many, many others. So with no further ado, let's get into this taste test review, just for you. Because we're coming to you from beautiful downtown southern sunny California. All right, now let's do this. We'll get you up here where uh, we can get you all dialed in. You can see what's really going on around here. All right, now first thing is what is the mystery bag? That looks like what? If Customs would have found this, they would have tore this open. All right, now, we have some gummies. Manyards Bassett, Manyards Bassett Jelly Babies. Woohoo, ka -choo. Now, what is Bonte? What is Bonte? What is the Bonte? We're going to find out what the Bonte is in just a minute. I'll hit two right here. And stay tuned because I'm going to give you a recipe from an authentic Ireland potato bread right here. Got stops and stuff. Hey, bro, long time no see. I was just actually thinking about you the other day. I'm glad you're in here. I saw, um, I want to say Patricia, but it's not, is it Patricia? Anyways, from your channel. Um, I haven't seen her forever, and she popped in my last stream on this. Scott stops and stuff. He's got a Overcomers 12-step program channel. Uh, where he keeps it real. That's got stots and stuff. But we're going to get into this recipe on this authentic Ireland potato bread. Good, I'm glad you are there, Scott. Um, there should be a few people come here in this channel, into this live stream. So we have the bounty. What's the bounty? We're going to find out what that bounty is, what it looks like, and most of all, What's it taste like? Oh, while I'm thinking about it, one brief moment. I've got something to share for those that, that haven't seen it. Oh, where did it go? Oh, oh, where did it go? Ah, I was going to... Oh, here it is. Here it is. All right. All right, have you ever heard, have you ever heard of bubblegum soda? Mm. Not here in the States. Well, I was in this box of Ireland candy. I was sent this, what looked like orange soda. This Iron Boo is actually a bubblegum flavored soda. Bubble gum flavored. All right, one second, a momentary break. We're well, not break, but hold on one second. Got to 
Check a message. Got to get here to easy two tips and tricks. All right. I'm live now. About my channel name. <laughs> All right, he'll be here in the chat. Center. All right. And uh, thanks for dropping in there, Will. And we have Scott's thoughts and stuff. Make friends. All right, so getting on with this. So this was, actually I thought it was orange. They thought it was going to be orange, but in Europe they actually have a bubblegum flavored soda. So it should bring that to the States, I guess. Um, they had it in, uh, oh, like Arizona back in the 70s or 80s, but I'd never seen it in California. Um, I didn't even know they made a bubblegum soda. So maybe some of these soda bubblegum companies need to create sodas for the flavors of gum that they make, like Juicy Fruit or Hubba Bubba, you know, something like that. All right, so let's try these Jelly Babies. All right, I got my trusty scissors here. All right, sometimes they make these packages child-proof. That way we don't get into our children's candy, LOL. The big kid, right? All right, so let's check this out. We have, oh, gray, gray and yellow. What are the other colors we've got? Are they flavors? Are they just color or, or do they have a flavor connected, associated with that color? We have a red, I'm smelling. That has a smell. Well, let's just see if there's a different flavors. All right, I've got kind of this greenish looking color, gray. Oh, they're soft. They're really soft. Now this flavor. It's got a unique flavor. I'll say that much. I'm doing some electrical, can you tell? Putting on some switch, some some outlet plates after painting. On um, the flavor of this, ceiling and wall is gray blue. I'll have some videos on painting and techniques on how to hold your brush, how to cut in the, the really hard to get places with your brush without getting it on your woodwork. So I have some techniques I will show you. Well, that was an interesting flavor. I can't put my finger on what I'm tasting. It's sweet, mild sweet, a little sweeter than most gummies. It just dissolves in your mouth. It melts in your mouth. Good. It's different. It melts in your mouth. It's a little more, has a little more sweeter flavor than regular gummies. 
And that is Manyard's Bassett Jelly Babies. One more time. You may be able to order these off the internet. Very possible. Uh, don't have my glasses. I'm going to see if there's a website on here. If there's a website on for these candies, I'll put them in the description. And Zebra's Bogs, Zebra Bogs, she's in Ireland. She uh, tagged me and challenged me to do this candy taste test with her. And um, it was it's fun and cool. It's cool. I'm glad she did. And uh, she's in Ireland. All right, we have... Ah, trying to see you just dropped in. Sorry, I'm Scott Sots and stuff. Oh, okay, saying hi, Billy B. Billy B, hey, from Australia. Have you seen these before, Billy B? Have you heard of bubblegum soda? Bubblegum soda. There, Billy B, are you familiar with it? Bubblegum soda. Really different. Surprising. All right. So we have, oh, the mystery. The mystery bag. What does that look like? <laughs> looks like something. <laughs> looks like something customs would have been um, checking out. What is this stuff? <laughs> Up close and personal. What's that look like to you in the chat? What is this I was sent? It's a mystery something. Good job. Ding, ding, ding. Scott Stocks and stuff. When's a shout out? <laughs> it is seaweed, Scott, and it's purple. It looks black. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a purple color. And uh, it's really dry. Listen to this. And... Uh, Nice, mild, salty flavor, a mild seaweed flavor. This stuff is good. I've never had it like this, ever. I've never seen it like this. It's more like a kelp. It's mostly very salty. Well, if this is actually is a mild saltiness to it. Now, zebras, zebra bogs um, that did this challenge with me, or challenged me with this taste test, candy taste test. She was saying that this is a byproduct of farm raising um, <laughs> going brain dead. The uh, salmon. This is a byproduct of raising salmon, salmon farms. Um, I didn't know that I, I know they swim upstream to end up in this in the ocean, but I didn't know fish. Yeah, salmon fish. Yeah uh, This is a byproduct of it there in Ireland because they do salmon raising Yeah, isn't it interesting? I'm like this is salty but a mild salty and this is a good salt for you sea salt is very good for you The seaweed has all types of minerals in it and micro minerals that are really good for you. Um, just have to do a little research on it. All right, this is good. All right, now salty with sweet. Let's find out what this. It's a bounty. I'm gonna find out what this bounty is. Yeah, it is all the micro um, nutrients in the seaweed and in the sea salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had some, uh, hey, I raise Z from, that's right, I raise Z is from Hawaii. Have you ever seen Bounty? Because I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy the Bounty right now. All right. Now, I was just sharing here, Bount, here, uh, I raise. This is from Ireland. And it's a bubblegum soda. 
bubble gum soda. Have you, do they have that over there in Hawaii? I appreciate you visiting. It's always good to hear from you, Ira. If I ever get rich, Ira, I'll go to, I'll be taking a trip to Hawaii. We'll have to do a collab. I get rich and go to Hawaii, that is. All my dollars are going, all my pennies are going to this house. Oh, it's another bounty. It's a bounty of bounties. It's a bounties of a bounty. And it says four by two. That must mean there's four of these and there's two in each package. Let's see. Did I nail it? Did I hit the bullseye? Or am I off the target? Me too, brother. Maybe here on YouTube one day, people do make some good money. They get the right connections, the right people, you know, you get hooked up. You, you can make some serious money here. I've, I've been told. Um, not, hopefully in the future, that would be a blessing. Um, that I could be a blessing, to, you know, but I gotta have it to bless, it, to bless with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, it's the bounty. I just had my salt, my, my, my seaweed, so salt with the sweet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is like the, um, they have Almond Joy, and then they have the uh, Almond, that's an Almond, it's not Almond at all, it's, uh, I'm trying to remember who makes it. This is like the, I am going so brain dead, I forget, I forget the company's name. But they make these chocolate and coconut bars here over in Ireland and maybe even in uh, England. They're called bounties. Okay. And these are really good. And yes, there's two in a packet. So you get four packages of these candy bars, two in each pack. That's good. It was melting in my hands. All right. So I had to stuff it quick. <laughs> it's really good. Sweet. Nice combination of the chocolate and the coconut. All right. Now, let's see. What else do we have here? For my last video, there's this honeycomb. But what I discovered in the honey with this honeycomb is they call it honeycomb just because of I guess the appearance of it. But let me tell you, it's nothing like honeycomb at all. Honeycomb is wax and honey, and this is sugar, a corn syrup, honey. Then they take baking soda, mix it in there, and it foams up, and they pour it out, and you end up with this, which is interesting. It's really good. It's crunchy, and uh, it has this caramel kind of, kind of a caramel sort of a flavor, but not exactly, and sweet. Definitely sweet. Now um, this is something that you could make actually, and while it's hot, pour it over and make, make like peanut brittle or make like uh, candy coated popcorn. It's the same process, except instead of pouring it over popcorn, they're just letting it dry in these clumps and calling it honeycomb. Very clever. Very clever. Okay. All right, now, what else? Oh, the malt teasers. These should be fun. And stay tuned because I'm gonna give you a recipe that I was sent. It's an authentic 
recipe for Irish potato bread or Ireland potato bread. I'm going to give you an authentic recipe for making it here at the end. That came from Katrina over at Zebra Boggs. And her link is in the description. All right, we're going to open this up with my trusty pair of scissors. You know, because they make these child-proof, LOL. All right, let's see what these malt teasers are. Let's see. Malt teasers, are you? Would you like one? All right. Malt teasers, I think I know what this is. I have a very good idea, but let's find out. Hmm, the flavor actually is different. More malt flavor, more of a authentic malt flavor. Um, we have malt balls here in the States, similar to Whoppers, yes. We have what's called malt ball. They were called malt balls. Then they just called them Whoppers. Everybody knows them by. Not a Whopper. Yeah, it's a Whopper. A little smaller than, a, than our Whoppers. And more of a malt flavor than ours. Better quality. So, I love Whoppers. They're one of my favorites. I have been since I was a teenager. And the malt teasers, I'm here to tell you, have more of a malt flavor than what we have here in the States. A better quality than what we have. What? Yes, WAP. <laughs> Very good, Scott. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, a Whopper is also a hamburger. If you give me a hamburger today, I'll gladly pay you tomorrow. <laughs> Whoppers. Malt teasers are, are better quality. Better quality of chocolate. Better... BK, yes. BK, I Ray, ding, ding, ding. You win the shout out. I Ray Z. <laughs> wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. <laughs> That's right. Ding, ding, ding. Scott's thoughts and stuff. Wins the shout out. <laughs> I'll gladly pay you tomorrow for a hamburger today. <laughs> that ought to bring back childhood memories. <laughs> Popeye, gotta eat your spinach. <laughs> and we like Popeye, right? <laughs> uh, everyone, every kid, every boy wants to be like Popeye, right? With this girl, olive oil. <laughs> oh yeah, time for some salt to go with that, cho with that chocolate, right? Salt, seaweed, and Whoppers. Yeah, buddy. Should I say, Ireland's malt teasers. Sweet with the salt. I'm talking about Willis. It's a happy day on happy days, right? All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, Scott. Y'all. Wine gummies, not for kids. No, I'm joking. <laughs> sit on it. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit on it. <laughs> It'll be kind of messy though. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> All right, wine gummies, red and white. Let's see. I really don't think it has anything to do with wine, but we're gonna see what their flavor is. Okay, here's a red. They're 
fruit just tastes like red licorice. With a little, with a little, little bit sourness to it, a little, a little pinch, pinch, a little uh, accented with a, let me see, Scott Stotts and stuff, the Myriad Wine Gummies, Myriad, Marianne's Mini, ah, uh, Mini Minyards Minyards wine gums. Yeah, they are mi Minyards actually. Minyard baskets. They got a slight. They have a slight tartness to them, but just it's accented with with the tartness and mildly sweet. Not bad. There's something else I used to I used to eat. Um, they don't melt in your mouth. And I'm wanting to try the black here. That's like a licorice. A black licorice, that is. Um, yeah, these, uh, Minyard's Bassett Jelly Babies, these melt in your mouth. They actually just melt in your mouth. Gummy Wines, yes. I've never heard of them. So do they have these in Hawaii, I raise i I'm still chewing on this thing. These remind me sort of of the ones I grew up with. These are bigger, but I forget what they were called. The ones I grew up were, with were about half that size, about so big. They were green and red and yellow. But it's been such a long time since I've seen them, I forget what they were called. Black babies. <laughs> Black babies matter. Red babies matter. Hawaiian babies matter. Should I say, we just all matter. LOL, trying to be funny. But we do all matter. That's a fact. Edible here. They're edibles? <laughs> They're edible, all right. Let me see what it tastes like now. Hmm. Wow, that's different. It's not what you'd think. It doesn't eat. Everything is edible. <laughs> Okay, coconuts, guavas, <laughs> candy, <laughs> the boars, right? Go do some boar hunting. Oh, that's a bomb right there. Fresh boar, fresh pork. These have like a blended fruit flavor. Basically, is what I, it, it, it's, it's a different taste. It's like a blend of fruits. And it's really mild and slightly tart. Slight, just an accent, just a hint of tartness. Wow, nothing like you would expect at all. Cool. That was different. Um, all right, what else we got? What do we have? Ooh. Did I save the best for last? It's the Willy Wonka's chocolate bar. I'm gonna get the golden ticket, y'all. I'll bring you along with me to the Willy Wonka's everlasting gobstopper video movie. The Willy Wonka's golden ticket right here. No, this is actually called Dairy Milk. Dairy Milk. Although fresh cow's milk is the bomb. When it's cold, oh man, you can't beat fresh, homemade, homemade, <laughs> fresh cow milk, ice cold. Man, we know nothing about that. 
Anyways, I'm just talking. It's called Dairy Milk, and it's a Cadbury. So let's see. Now, from what I understand, chocolate that comes from Germany, Ireland, Swiss Alps, um, Switzerland, should I say. Oh, you've, you've had these before. What I was going to say, though, trying to say, I haven't said it yet. Um, and I'm opening it up. My crusty scissors. Um, it's candy made in the UK, chocolate made in the UK is usually a better quality. Um, and if it comes from Switzerland, Switzerland chocolate's like the world's best. It's milk chocolate. How sweet is the dark chocolate? Our dark chocolate isn't real sweet. It has a slight, it's, it's, it's kind of strong, um, a hint of, of bitterness, but it's really good for you actually. There's minerals and vitamins in dark chocolate. It's supposed to be a brain food, actually. Um, something you can, you can do some research on. You know, Google it, right? YouTube it. No, maybe. Um, just go to their website. Um, but you know, dark, char dark chocolate's actually supposed to be supposed to be something in it that's a brain food and is really good for you. All right, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's cut up into, into little breakable bite-sized pieces. Okay, and it's a it's a soft, light chocolate, so um, I bet it has more of a creamy flavor just based on the color. Let's find out. <laughs> no, I hear they eat monkey brains and um, and monkey brains and raw in uh, Philippines, I think it is, or China. I don't know. All right, we have North, Nor, oh man, I'm having a hard time seeing your channel name, my friend. Northeast, doggone it, it's been a while. I, I'm not seeing that channel name too clearly. It's smaller. North or North something. 50H3, thanks for dropping in. It's going, how's it? It's going good with this chocolate, let me tell you. Oh, the chocolate is mild. Not as a little milder flavor than like a Hershey's chocolate. Um, I would say more refined, more better quality, better quality than, than, than Hershey's chocolate better quality by far should have blow dried the hair right put some hairspray on it <laughs> um all right that's pretty good really mild smooth chocolate i see why they call it a milk chocolate because it's a lot smoother it's rich but yet it's smooth and mild Better quality. I have freezing it. Freezing your chocolate for those that haven't done it is really good. It lasts longer. You enjoy the flavor longer. And in some cases, it tastes better. But that's really good. Really smooth. Uh, make friends. Well, it's hard to make friends with the way they have it set up nowadays. But what you do is, here's Zebra's Vogs. Zebra's Vogs is in the chat. Um, are you still in here, Zebra? This is Zebra. Zebra Vogs. She's the one that sent me this candy. She's the one that tagged me and challenged me with this. And uh, check her channel out. You can put her name. If you want to connect with anybody in the chat, it takes a little bit more work. But if you put their channel name into the search, 
the way they have it spelt, capitalized, the way they have it capitalized, and you put it in the search, remember their, what their icon looks like, and you can go to their channel and make friends. If you come back after the live stream and make a comment, you can then tap on the person's icon in the comment section and you can still go over to that person's channel and connect with them that way. That still works as well. For those that may not be aware of that or don't know that you're still able, you, that still works in the comment section. So Scott's thoughts and stuff says he's connected with you there, Zebra. And uh, Scott has a 12-step overcomers uh, channel where he talks about his life and how it's helped him and how it will help others that are struggling in these areas. And uh, good channel. I've been, he's been a friend of mine. We've been connected for quite a while. Actually, most everybody in here in my live stream today, I've known for shoot, a few years now. That's really cool. Um, appreciate you all being here. I don't go live a whole lot anymore. Um, I've heard, I don't know how, how factual it is. If somebody knows in the chat, educate me. Uh, but if you go live, then your channel gets marked or labeled as a live channel. And I'm not sure how that affects the algorithms. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. I don't know how factual that is um, for what that's worth. Okay, y'all, if you don't mind, I've got seven in the chat and two thumbs up. Um, if you don't mind, I know I forget. I go into a live stream. Let's see, we have, make it wait, make it wait, hey, bro. I need some chili peppers to go with this chocolate. I have some seaweed. Looks like something else, I know. <laughs> this comes from Ireland. Um, now, Wayne, make it Wayne, he has a chili pepper challenge. Challenge? Yeah, he does those too. But he has a chili pepper channel. And uh, I've known Wayne for a few years as well. Um, we've lost contact a little bit, but, you know, that happens. Um... I've been thinking about you too. I've been thinking about Scott's and thoughts and stuff. I haven't seen him. He's been on my mind recently. You've been on my mind recently. Thanks for dropping in, bro. Um, but Make It Wayne, his channel is about chili peppers. He does chili hot chili pepper challenges. He grows chili peppers. He shows you how to grow them, how to take care of them. His channel's all about chili peppers. And... Uh, Check him out. He's got a great live stream when he goes live. Um, he goes, if you still go live on Thursday nights at 7 o'clock. Because when I was doing Sane Autos, uh, connected with Sane Autos and doing live streams, we were going live at the same time, so it made it hard for me to get over to his channel. But, Wayne, are you still going live? Make it Wayne at 7 p.m. on Thursdays? Hey, my pleasure, Wayne. You know, it's what you know. You know, it's how I it's how I roll. Um, this seaweed is really good, by the way. It's mildly salty. It has a mild seaweed flavor. I've never seen it in this form. I've always get this paper thin, manufactured green stuff. This is like a reddish purple or pur dark purple. Um. I've never seen it raw like this or fresh like this. Um, but Zebra was telling, or Zebra's Vogs was saying that this is a byproduct of them raising and farming, um, I'm going brain dead, the fish, the fish that jump up, go upstream. Um, dog gone. I'm too young for this. Um, you know, the fish swim to the ocean. Um, <laughs> salmon, seaweed, yes, seaweed. But, but seaweed is a byproduct of them farming salmon, raising salmon for the market. Um, 
Yes, sometimes Wednesdays, sometimes Thursdays. That's Wayne's, make it Wayne. Um, depends on which day I, oh, you're off. All right, it's either Wednesdays or Thursdays at 7 p.m. Uh, make it Wayne's channel. New job is hectic. Okay, new job, hopefully a little better money, hopefully. Um, at least you're working, that's a blessing. Uh, anyway, so he goes live. It's all about chili peppers. If you want to know more about chili peppers, how to grow chili peppers, you want to get into a chili pepper challenge, you want to win some chili pepper seasoning fresh, Wayne's channel is the channel. Um, he's always having giveaways. He's got a big heart, good guy. And uh, what else can I say, you know? Um, but everybody in here, in my channel, in this live that I know, has a big heart and really cares about their communities. And um, so, I appreciate everyone for being here. Um, okay, let's make it win. So anyways, I got a slab of this fish, of the salmon. As, I mean, it was thick. It's a nice big slab, about 15 bucks. But the flavor of the salmon was so mild. So if you don't like the, fla the salmon flavor, which I do, make it seaweed. Make seaweed. Um, I don't know how. But that was I Ray Z. Um... So if you like, if you don't like that strong salmon flavor, these farm-raised salmon is a very mild salmon flavor, very mild. Um, which I like that salmon flavor, so I was a little disappointed. Yeah, you, I raise I I don't know how to make seaweed. If you can, yeah, you might be able to make. You may know how to make it there in Hawaii. That may be something you were taught growing up or something. Um. You can sell it. This is good stuff. Um, so anyways, have I tasted everything? The bounty. Oh. Here's something I think most people have seen because we have it here in the States, but they're good. And that is Weathers Originals. These are like a toffee. Hard candy, and uh, so if you're so if you're a toffee lover, this is a, a nice little pleasant snack. Uh, okay, they come in this little wrapper. You can stick them in your pocket, right? And then there, this caramel-looking color. And they're really mild. Oh, then Ireland, they might be different. <coughs> Seaweed getting stuck. Yeah, these taste similar to what we have here, the Weathers Originals. Um... So, yeah, I'll have to check, not to get on my glasses and check the labeling and after the live stream I will put any websites to these candies in the description what candy did you miss um well I'm not sure actually when you dropped in you do see the red and white wine these are red and black not white red and red and black the black doesn't taste like black licorice. The black actually has a fruit, a mixed fruit flavor. Really nice. Um, totally surprising. Because we're used to black being like licorice, you know, black licorice flavor. Um, this is the Jelly Babies. And these literally will melt in your mouth, literally. 
they're soft. I mean, look, they are just soft. And they melt in your mouth. The gummy babies. The sweet. Mild sweet. Northwest. That Northwest. Thanks for sharing. I have to finish my day. I thought I'd drop in the WL. Well, thanks for dropping in. I haven't seen you for quite some time. Thank you for dropping in. I'll have to come over and visit. Um, I'll make it a point to go by and visit everyone in the chat. Northwest, okay. Um, yeah, Northwest has a good channel. I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah, life, things happen. You know, we all have, that, that just keeps it real. You know, we got unexpected things popping up in your life, medically or whatever it may be. Um, you know, things happen. You know, we get thrown these curves ever so often, you know, and it, it takes the wind out of our sail. But I'll be praying for you that um, you just continue to heal and recover and be restored, you know, uh, for sure. Um, but thanks again for dropping in. Um, I'll be by, I'll be, I'm going to go by everyone's channel that was in the chat and uh, do that. So have a great day. God bless you there. Makes life sweet when it's good. It, it does. It does. Make, you don't take life for granted. You know, it really causes you to appreciate life better. I had a blood clot. I could have taken me out. I'm cut from my solar plex down to my belt line almost. Um, they had to open me up because of a blood clot. And uh, by the grace of God, I'm still here. Makes you really thankful. Um, so... Definitely, you know, may the Lord restore you, get you back to being 100%. And um, I'll be by your channel, whether it's old videos or, or recent videos. Uh, I'll watch a video, leave you a comment, and I'll do that for everyone that's been in my chat. And uh, so have a great day, a great rest of your week, and uh, look forward to hearing from you there in the future there, Northwest. But that's Northwest, and then there is some numbers, some letters. Uh, I think it's 5-O-H-3, Northwest. Uh, God bless you, Ken. Yes, although this, this, what I just mentioned about myself was like about six years ago or so, something like that, roughly, maybe a little longer. But uh, anyways... Well, Wayne, if, if you got a if you got a run, I understand it's been fun, and I've got some more to do. I was mentioning at the beginning of my video, I did some painting. Uh, this room, this is a gray. It was a yellow room. Now it's gray. Um, there's a ceiling. It's white. Anyways, I'm going to be uploading some videos on how to use your brush for cutting in and getting around your trim. Showing you the techniques for doing so. Um, in my next video that comes out after this one. But I'm going to let this run for three, four days. Um, my last video, to my surprise, um, I ended up with an unusual 200 views. Or oh, a few, 200 plus. It isn't the norm. YouTube picked it up somehow and promoted my promoted it. Um, that doesn't happen very often. I don't know why, but I'm glad it did. Um, so, we'll see how this one goes. So, anyways, thank you all for being here. And, uh, well, if you missed anything, replays are good. You know, if we can do replays or playbacks on, 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 on one another's channels, it helps our overall watch time. And then you can learn more from it, get more out of it when you do the replay. Or several replays, right? Depending on how much time you got. Um, I try to do that when I can. I don't always mention it. Sometimes I do. 
Um, but, you know, this takes up a lot of our time. And so, again, I appreciate everyone for being here. But like I'm saying, when you're able, and you're able to do a replay or a playback uh, on a video, it definitely helps with the watch time, increases the watch time. And then you learn more, can glean more from it as an end result. So, just throwing that out there for what it's worth. So, all right, well, take care, God bless, bye for now, and truly never give up, because there is always a way, always. What I've learned is it just is a matter of finding out what that way is, whether it's doing your research, buying books, going to the library, asking somebody in that trade, um, going to the contractor's desk at Home Depot or Lowe's or somewhere. But there's always a way. Somebody knows. It's finding that person that will tell you the inside secret to make it work. Or the method for getting the job done. Um, you know, there's many ways to skin a cat. And uh, sometimes we just got to find out what the better way is. And that always helps. So, take care. And appreciate you being here. And it's a win-win-win, tell a friend, easy to tips and tricks where you see everything up close and personal. So, bye for now. God bless. Keep looking up. Don't, don't buy any wooden nickels. I found out my library will deliver and pick up library books for you. Oh, wow. Now, more libraries should do that, and they should... Put it on the internet. They should make a, a public, you know, news. Uh, put it on the news, their local news stations and make it known um, for libraries delivering books and picking them up. Very good idea. Um, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. But more, you know, more libraries, more cities, uh, states, they should just do that, you know. So that's great. Well... And I uh, appreciate everyone hanging out that's in here. And if you don't know Zebra or Zebra Vogs, her description, her link is in the description. And uh, check her out. And uh, she went to the Titanic. She'll have a Titanic upload here uh, probably like Sunday. So... If for some reason the algorithms don't send you the upload link or the, the or the notification, check out her channel Sunday evening, Monday, um, but she'll have videos. She'll have a video um, with some history, some information about the Titanic on that video. And then she'll be going back to the Titanic here in the near future. And... Uh, Good stuff, and good stuff to come. So, remember Zebra Vogs, and uh, tell a friend it's a win-win-win. And United we stand, and United we make it happen here on YouTube. Bye for now, God bless, and we'll catch you all on the rebound. So bye for now, bye. Thanks for being here, it means a lot, it really does.